That's right, guys. Day two. We were sick yesterday. Or even sicker today we were yesterday. Uh, I need, you know, these guys been taking real good care of me, though. Yeah. Old Panda here, he's been making me chicken noodle soup. Yeah. And old Jake, he's been... I don't know what he's doing. He's been uh, controlling the remote control. Now I understand some of these videos too. At least yesterday's video and today's video, you guys aren't gonna like. I know that. I'm gonna get thumbs down. I don't care. I have to show a video every day. And if I'm sick, I'm sick. We're not moving. The truck ain't moving. But I gotta show you something. Yeah, I've been going inside the truck stop, and I've been kind of taking care of myself that way, and trying to get food down me and stuff, but it's a lot of effort walking from inside the truck to inside the truck stop uh, without uh, actually literally falling down, right? But uh, it's just another short clip. We are trying to get well, honest, we are. Matter of fact, Rumor is that we're gonna go pick up a load tomorrow. So I've been really super duper sleeping a lot, a lot. I got a lot of you guys that are actually wishing me well. I missed a few phone calls. Rudy's called me. Um, uh, Josh Forsey's called me. Angelo's called me. Some of the phone calls I've been missing though because I've been sleeping, right? I've been out. And you know what's knocking me out is my NyQuil. Now, I know Don Whitaker out of uh, Knoxville, Tennessee is concerned. And he's right, you know, certain medications you can't take and drive because that can give you, get you, you get a DUI for that. If, if it, you can be drugged. And in that case, you're not supposed to operate a commercial vehicle any vehicle but all I'm taking is Tylenol and NyQuil that's it can't take much more than that but the NyQuil does work I take a big old cup shot of that about 30 minutes later I get, uh, time to go to bed then it lets me sleep about 6-7 hours I wake up I know don't have coffee when you're sick. But I still have my coffee, wake up, have my coffee, maybe watch a couple things on TV. And I take me another cup of NyQuil and I go right back to bed. Sleep another six, seven hours. Get up and do it again. And I've been doing that really, I've been parked. Well, Saturday afternoon I delivered, got here. Now see, Saturday I was feeling this. I wasn't sick but I knew something was coming down right but Sunday I got up did my radio show and trust me guys it was everything I could to do that and then after that show I just started to get sicker and sicker and sicker so by Sunday uh, Sunday evening I was really I felt like a dead person except for I had uh, warmth in my body <laughs> it wasn't ice cold right and Monday, same same deal. I'm looking for some. But I promised a video every day. So I'm just letting you guys know what's going on. And trust me, it takes a lot of effort. It really does. Just to record this but they're helping me man they are really helping me a lot yeah they're trying they're trying I'm still taking care of them still take them out still you know I can't quit my responsibilities here I still got to uh, well I, I still got to take care of them and myself so but we'll be back on par I promise uh, we are going to pick up a load tomorrow. 
tomorrow, tomorrow, um, Wednesday morning, 7 a.m., I gotta be in Danville, Kentucky, pick up a load that's going to Bolingbrook. I already know that. So, I'm just going to, this is my last day of just really resting. These days are funny. And then we're going to be back on the road, so. It'll be NyQuil to DayQuil in the day, and then I'll take Tylenol. And then at night, we'll still take the NyQuil. We'll keep fighting it until I, I get back on my feet. So anyway. I know it's just a talkie. It's not going down the road. But I'm chiming in. With that being said, we're out of here. And we'll talk to you guys on the next one. Later.